Don't be doing what I'm doing. Oh. Good morning, modern steaders. Don't look. You can see the underside, the messy side of our kitchen island. But don't be looking under there. Come on, guys. No judging here. We received a weather station from a friend and fellow modern steader. Thanks, Simon. We've had it for a while. I feel ashamed to say it. The weather's been terrible. And then it's been sitting on the top of my refrigerator and I had other things going on. So Simon, I'm sorry I didn't get this up sooner. I've been looking forward to getting this set up and having a weather station. I don't know, I haven't had a chance to read the manual. But it'd be kind of neat if we can get the weather station to go over and read and update our website. And then everybody can see what the weather is and what's going on here at Lumna Acres. So I'm gonna keep my eye out and keep reading. Or if anybody else knows about that, leave it in the comments down below. I think that'd be fun. Speaking of our website, we're almost at 20,000 subscribers. And once we reach our goal of 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away an automatic chicken plucker. So if you go over to our website, lumnaacres.com, sign up for our newsletter, you'll be entered in for your chance to win. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have an AC charger for the display screen. On the back side here, it takes batteries, but it says batteries are not for batteries are not required for display operations. Batteries are for backup power and to retain records. So they don't want you using this without the batteries, I take it. I don't know. We'll put the batteries in. We'll see. Over here, we have the unit we're going to be putting outside for a wind, I'm assuming. I don't know what they're all for. Because I would think this is going to capture wind speed. I don't know what that's for. Solar, I'm assuming that's to charge the batteries and keep it going. We must have to keep it level. Rain collection. Oh, let's put some batteries in it. it takes seven double A's total, but I'm glad it takes a standard battery. This is always fun trying to stack batteries and make sure you have them go in the right direction. I think we're doing good. This says remove this tape before operate the unit. So let's remove it now before we forget. I don't know if that comes out yet. I don't know what that was for, but must have been to lock something in place. Look, it's picking up the reading. Pretty cool. I like that. I like how it's got the humidity right there, indoors and outdoors. We'll be able to know how it is in the house. Nice. I wonder how it knows, right now it says it's partly cloudy, I wonder how it knows that. Hmm. It comes with a mounting pole. I'm planning on mounting it to the outdoor kitchen for starters. If it doesn't work there, because we have interference with, I don't know, for whatever reason we can move it. And we got some screws, and it looks like it's Phillips head. So let's go get our screw gun. What are you doing? You look like you're up to no good. You're going to be causing some mischief. Uh-oh, they're conspiring together. You guys better behave. I can just see it in them. The other night when I was, last night when I was down here editing a video, Pluto jumped off from this step, and I don't remember if she was chasing Figaro or Figaro was chasing her. Oh, they like a bunch of little kids. All right, let's grab our drill. We've got it ready to go to work. That's the nice handy kit. Can take it to work, leave it here. Oh, 
like my fancy shoes. They work good for slippers. Figaro ate my slippers. Ah, so I've been wearing these lately. But, hear that? Got the Kubota running. I figured we'd use the Kubota today because it's pretty icy out there and it's probably not a good idea to set a ladder up on the ice. I don't want to go for a ride. So we'll use the Kubota. Somebody left a comment in the concrete polishing video that using the Kubota with a ratchet strap we can do anything that we should do a Kubota ratchet strap challenge that our loyal viewers should leave comments and give us ideas for challenges challenge videos to do with the Kubota and a ratchet strap I think that sounds like a good idea so if you have some challenge you think we should do leave it in the comments down below this could be fun we don't want to go too crazy but I think we could have fun with this now it's like an ice skating rink out here this morning. Whew, we gotta be careful. I don't wanna go for a ride. What do they say? Walk like a penguin? I don't know what that means, but I don't wanna fall. Alright kids, don't try this at home. Only an experience, I don't know, can try this, so don't try it. We might be too, we are, we're too far forward. I gotta back it up some. Alright, let's check this out. I think that'll be good. It's gonna be a pain to get up there, but I think we got a stool in the outdoor kitchen. I was in here making a video the other day and I left my bar stool. See, it's a good thing I forgot it out here. Use that as my step this morning. Don't tell Gina or Olivia. Alright, let's see. Something like that'll, that'll be safe. Now, if there's kids watching this channel, don't be doing what I'm doing. Alright. Oh, let's try this. I think we want it something like this. That's kind of a pain. Let's get down and we'll tighten this up down there first. All right, let's set the base here, get the screws. They give you a bunch of different screws, but they give you two short ones. And I think these are for to go in here to lock in place where you want your adjusting rod. Let's try that out. Hopefully that gives us enough Height over the roof. We'll see. If this doesn't work, we'll have to go in the house and I'll have to grab a space up there. Bummer. That's just disappointing. Alright, take it down, readjust it, and I'll go grab a block to space it off. Luckily I've got a bunch of scrap wood out in the outdoor kitchen. I have this nice piece of 2x6. That should work nicely. Oh, this is our last attempt before I gotta go to work. If it don't work this time, we'll have to finish it up this afternoon. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying today's video. And if you are subscribed, and if you are subscribing, hit the little bell button. That'll turn on notifications, and that'll let you know every time we upload a new video or post something to the community tab. YouTube doesn't keep everybody up to date nowadays, so. These hiccups. Gives me something to talk about. 
I like that. I think that'll work perfectly. Let me get... be good it's not completely facing south the solar panel but it is southern facing fingers crossed if we have to we'll have to find a new location or make a longer pole and put this above the roof we'll see That's what it looks like from up high. I think that should work out good. I'm excited. Thanks, Simon. This is going to be awesome. Oh, you can't even see it that well. There it is. Nice. Go in the house and we'll see what the readings are. Look, we got Pluto's prints frozen in the ice. Oh, we got Figaro keeping an eye on us. He's in that window. He saw we had the DeWalt tools out. He wanted to see what we were building. He's a tool guy too, you know. What are you doing, Mr. Figaro? Pluto, what are you doing, Figaro? All right, this is pretty awesome. 73 inside, 32 outside, 61% humidity, 35% humidity. Yeah, we gotta get that up in the house. Heat index. 32 degrees, rainfall, hmm, I wonder what that's about. I'll have to look. Let's see what, 30 days low temp, 32, it's got a set. It was saying earlier what the wind chill was. It's not saying that right now. And then earlier, the wind was blowing and it was saying two, all right, yeah. It was saying the wind was blowing at two miles per hour to the east. So that's pretty wild. I am excited. Must be top speed so far. I'll have to set the time and the date on it. But I'm assuming the temperature is going to drop because our other one says 25 outside, 72 inside. The inside temp is there. The outside temp is still going to come down. I compared it to our weather app, and our weather app is saying 25 also. This is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to having the weather station set up. Thanks, Simon. This is a game changer. It's awesome to know all this information. If you'd like to keep up to date with Lumna Acres, go down below, hit the bell button, turn on notifications, and YouTube will let you know what we're up to. You can also go over to our website. There's a link for that down in the description below. LumnaAcres.com. Sign up for our newsletter. And we send out emails periodically. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. What's up? If you're at this point of the video, I'm going to call you a super viewer. I just got back from work, and I am excited about this weather station. I plugged in the AC adapter. So it's all lit up. It's telling us more information, but we have to program it, I guess. But it's pretty wild. It says the wind speed right now is one, blowing to almost the north. Maximum wind speed was two miles per hour today. The temperature has acclimated because it's 33 outside by that, or 32 outside by that, and 68.7. And this is saying 71. So that's awesome. This has fixed itself. I love knowing the humidity in the house. We gotta get a pot of water on our wood stove and keep it there. 
56% humidity outside. Dew point, I gotta play around with this, get it set up more, but this is awesome. So if you made it to this part of the video, leave it in the comments down below. And if you made it to this point, I'm gonna let you see the crazy cat. What are you doing, mister? Huh? What are you doing? Oh man. I think I gotta build Figaro a jungle gym in the basement to keep him out of trouble. He likes climbing. <laughs>